what's up babes welcome to the channel if you are returning hey girl hey what's going on drop me a comment down below let me know that you're returning and i am sorry your girl be in my a listen life has been hectic i'm not even gonna hold you but that's another video for another day if you want to see how i got this look baby stay tuned So, you already know how we have been doing it lately here on this channel. If you are returning, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. The hair that I'm going to be featuring in this video is some virgin hair from Amazon. I'm going to leave all the information about this hair in the description box below. This video isn't more so dedicated to this hair, honestly, because I did not care for the hair at all. I mean, you can look at it and tell that it's not top quality. So, we're going to focus on coloring. I am going to be doing an ombre effect with these bundles to save it, to make some use of it. So, the few things you're going to be needing to achieve this color is, of course, your bleaching powder, your developer. I'm going to be using the BW2 powder, and this developer brand here is the Clara Professional. I'm going to be using this. This is a good brand to use for those who are beginners out there. And as far as developers, you can pretty much use whichever developer you like that you are comfortable with. I would recommend using a lower number, like a 10, 20, no more than 30 if you're new. I'm going to use some purple shampoo, combs, an application brush, a bowl, aluminum foil, and definitely gloves and a mask because this is going to get messy and it is going to be very strong in smell. And the smell mm -mm, is worse than perm. First and firm, girl, get a mask. So starting off, we're gonna just add some powder into our bowl. And as far as measurements go, you wanna just add enough in there to make sure that you are able to saturate whatever you're coloring. Um, if you want a detailed video on, uh, on coloring this, then I will do one. But you pretty much wanna make sure you have enough bleaching powder and developer in there so you can fully saturate whatever you're coloring. And, you want the consistency to be a good consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or thin. I like to say think of pancake batter when you are mixing up your bleaching powder for your bundles. So the method I'm going to be using is a very easy method to achieve the blonde ombre effect. And that's simply taking all three bundles or however many bundles you got, applying your bleach, and doing so in increments of time. So... The first bundle that I'm going to be bleaching is going to be my brightest bundle or my most blonde bundle. So I'm going to start processing that one first. Again, my most longest bundle is the bundle that I want to be the most brightest. So that is the bundle that I am going to be processing first. I'm going to go ahead and just slap on my um, developer. I'm doing this in any type of form. There's no particular technique or form that I'm doing this in. I'm just showing you how to do it with the brush. You want to put it on there and paint it on there and then when you get to the roots at the top you want to make sure that you kind of like wisp it out and uh, um you put your brush in like a vertical um direction and wisp out the top so it doesn't have like that harsh line of demarcation and then the rest of the hair make sure that you fully saturate the bundle flip it over get in between the hair so that it's fully saturated and then also you want to do something that you want to do that i didn't make sure that you keep your other hand clean of uh bleach bleaching solution because you're gonna get messy you don't want to put bleach on areas that you don't mean to get bleached because it's going to cause it to be a mess and i'm going to show you what happens if you do that later on in the video so i'm going to continue to do this for the remaining bundles again I'm using time to process these bundles, so the longest bundle I'm going to process first because I want it to be the brightest, and then the shortest bundle, which is my last bundle, my third bundle, that one is going to get processed last because I want that one to be the darkest. So my ombre is going from darkest to light on my unit, so yeah, hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, drop me a comment and I'll put it in the comment. I will leave descriptions in the comments of everything, products, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to let the video play out for the remaining of the time. Now I am going in with my second bundle to get that one ready to go. And I am going in with the same process, same technique, using that 
bleaching solution, pouring it on. And at this point, y'all, I'm be trying to grace against the clock. So I just slathered it on there. And I'm going to go in with my hands to really smooth it in. Again, I prefer using my hands. It's just easiest for me. Um, but I'm doing the same technique, applying the um, cream or the bleaching solution to the hair. And then once I get up towards the roots, I'm using that technique of turning the brush in a vertical direction and wisping out the brush i mean on the end yeah wisping out the brush on the hair so that it doesn't look like it's a harsh line <laughs> honestly it really didn't matter if i did that because the roots are going to be hidden when i styled the hair but i just had to be anxious so you can see right now with my hands i'm going in and as you can see if you flip the hair over there's no products underneath the hair so you want to make sure you flip the hair over and get all in between the bundles because if it processed like that, it's gonna look crazy and you're gonna be mad. So, yes, I'm repeating the same process. And again, I'm gonna let this process play out. I wanted to let it play twice so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing both times. And again, I left the bleaching solution on the hair for about 30 to 45 minutes for each bundle. And I started with the longest length. Whichever bundle I wanted to be the lightest is the bundle that I started processing first. So yeah. Now that we have gotten our hair saturated, I put it in the foil and let it finish processing, like I said, for again, for about 30 to 45 minutes. And I took a look at it. I saw that it was not as bright as I wanted it to be. And I also saw that it was getting a little dry. So if you wanted to continue to process it, you could by adding some more products. Um, definitely want to make sure you add some if you want to continue the processing time. If not, it's just going to just be sitting here. So again, I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So I am going to go in and um bleach it a second time i didn't let it process the same day because i had something to do but i went in and processed it a second time but i did it after i constructed the u-part wig so stay tuned for the next part of the video to see how um, i constructed the u-part wig how the hair process as you can see the bundle starting from the one I just showed you is like a dark brown color this one is like a lighter brown blonde bron I mean bronze and then the next one I'm gonna be showing you is a lighter blonde color so it's like ombre effect right right and I showed you the areas where it got bleached at the roots that's what happens when you don't make sure your hands is clean as you're bleaching your bundles so make sure your hands is clean as you're bleaching so you don't have that issue next we're going into constructing a u-part wig for all of my returning bags you already know this process Put your cap of your choice on your mannequin head, spray it down with some got to be or your hairspray of choice. This step is optional. I like to do this because it helps the quick weave um, glue and all that stuff adhere better. So we're going to go in and begin to measure our track out from starting from the back end of the wig head or the nape of our neck. Cut it, apply our glue and then add it on. So as you can see, I'm measuring out the track with my finger cutting it with some scissors adding a nice thin layer of glue and then applying it on make sure you put a plastic bag of some sort underneath your cap to protect your mannequin head if you care to protect it um and we're going to repeat this process until we reach the top of our cap and again you can use whatever cap you like i didn't really care for this cap it was too big for my head if you have a bigger head then this cap will be perfect for you but it was too big for me but i made it work so as y'all can see i'm showing the hair it's bright right it's bright but i wanted it to be a tad bit lighter in some places so now that i finished constructing the wig like i mentioned earlier i'm gonna go in to add in some more highlights this time i'm going to be using a method of sectioning off the hair so i'm going in and sectioning off an area on the crown of my head and on the sides and then i am sectioning those three sections off into another three sections so i'm gonna let it play out so you can see what i'm doing because y'all know i'm bad at explaining stuff <laughs> but y'all go ahead and watch again the areas that i'm going to be highlighting i'm going to be sectioning off the areas to help me keep everything organized and clean so yeah
So going into this part of the highlighting, I am going to be doing a method where you tease the roots. So you take a fine tooth comb and you tease the roots, push the hair up, tease it, tease it, tease it, and then you apply your bleach like I demonstrated in the previous clips. And I'm doing that method because it's going to add some dimension to those sections that I'm adding some more bleach in to lighten and make it a bit more of a brighter blonde color. Um, so it's just going to make it, like I said, give it some dimension so that way when you flip your hair, when the light hit it, you can see those different tones of lights and darks because you tease those few hairs and got them out of the way. And then that is the action that I told you about taking the brush and putting it at a vertical angle and swiping it up and down so it's not just a blotchy looking job. Here is how the color came out once I finished doing everything. The brighter blondes are there as you can see. And this is where you can determine if some hair is good hair at. As you can see, the hair has some blotchy areas where it was processed and that is because this hair is not a really high quality version of hair, which is why I said I didn't like it. It was wavy hair. And as you can see, the curl pattern is gone. After I washed the hair, the curl pattern was like this. So yeah, um, the hair is good for the price, but I wouldn't even purchase it for the price because you might as well put that money towards some real virgin hair if you're gonna do that. So yeah, y'all. But I had to finesse and make it do what it do because we can't be wasting coins out here. I had to make it work. So I made it work, made it work, made it do what it do. Right now I'm gonna go in to straighten the hair and then I'm gonna be curling it and styling it. Definitely had to put some curls in it because this curler, color job was, it came out how I wanted it, but because the quality of the hair, yeah. And I didn't feel like going in to correct it. I was just like, you know what? I wanna get this video out. Let me go ahead and put some curls in so you can't really see where the bad bundles <laughs> have the bad hair at. Nah, babes, don't hate me. This video was recorded literally probably about three or four months ago. Probably longer than that. Like, it was, yeah, recorded months ago. So I lost the clip where I installed my combs onto my U-Par wig. But don't you fret, because I have another video up on my channel where I show detail, blah, 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 how I created you part. So go ahead and click that. But nonetheless, this is how the hair came out. And I, I was a little scared, y'all. I was like, oh my God, this hair was a waste. How I'm gonna finesse this? The wig cap is too big. But it came out so cute once I curled it and styled it. Like, definitely a good throw on you part wig when you need an emergency and you want some color, pop this right on in. Um, but like I said, this video was recorded months ago. So y'all let me know how y'all feeling and this was something that I had on the summer. The hair is a no for me, but the color, um, definitely everything. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was able to, easy to follow when you were able to learn something. And drop me some comments and let me know things that could have made the process a bit easier for me. I love to get new techniques and learn how people do things. So I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. For real. <laughs>